Yeah. And we are keeping count of the coronavirus outbreak here in the Bay Area. There are now around 300 confirmed cases. Santa Clara still, Santa Clara County that is, still by far with the most cases with a 138 as of we know it right now. And of course, we have just learned that San Mateo County has up to 64 cases. And a majority of the Bay Area continues in that shelter in place. Not business as usual in parts of downtowns throughout the Bay Area, which is used to a lot of traffic, at least around this time of the day. Take a look at this. This is Sky Ranger from earlier. Look at those freeways. Not like we're used to seeing. Pretty empty there right now. NBC Bay Area's Pete Serratos, live for us in Walnut Creek this midday. And, and Pete, how are people dealing with it out there? Yeah, good morning to you, Marcus. Yeah, we're here in downtown Walnut Creek off of Locust Street. Uh, for folks that are familiar with the area, not much traffic at all, not a lot of foot traffic, but you got businesses like the House of Bagels. They're still open, but it's for takeout only, and these new shelter-in-place rules are something that they'll have to get used to. Our first goal is to keep everyone safe. We understand that that is the most important right now, and so we are supporting the shelter. We're just hoping that by still staying open, taking precautionary measures that we could still be able to provide the community with, you know, uh, with food. Now, Walnut Creek is, of course, under that shelter in place order from Contra Costa County, as we mentioned all morning long, Contra Costa County joining the five other major counties in the Bay Area that are following this order to hopefully contain the spread of COVID-19. Now, food establishments like the one I showed you here in Walnut Creek are one of the many businesses remaining open during this order. Of course, it is takeout only, but guys, this shelter in place order that is in place is clearly having an impact on the downtown area here in Walnut Creek. It's kind of weird. I've never been through anything like this. Um, I was born in the 60s, so we didn't go through any kind of like plague type of things. Um, this is more like, uh, it's kind of scary. It feels extreme in some ways, but I understand the reason behind it, trying to keep people that potentially really, really get sick from getting that sick and, of course, overloading the hospitals, keeping them um, from not overloading from this illness and then anything else that they have to deal with. So I understand it. And I'm concerned for health care workers. My great niece and her fiance are both nurses at um, Sacramento UC Davis facility and I worry for them. Uh, essential businesses are still operating, of course, grocery stores, as Bob just mentioned in that live report. Uh, police and fire departments are still operating, as well as hospitals. You can also do essential activities, so if you need to see a doctor or care for a family member, those are accepted. As we take you back out here live to an empty downtown Walnut Creek, I do want to point out you can still take your dog for a walk or go for a hike, but make sure you're practicing social distance, so that's keeping six feet away uh, from the next person. Reporting live, Pete Serratos, NBC Bay Area News. Yeah, we understand.